Welcome back to Crash Course. I'm Sammy Chimonahihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through a request that is very uh, commonly asked, which is how do we make spiral staircases? Uh, this has a number of different ways that you can approach this. Um, <clears throat> I've gone through a few of them myself, and I figured that this is probably the best way uh, for you to be able to quickly make spiral staircases and uh, be able to also manipulate them easily. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pick a spot right here. I'm going to create a cylinder and uh, you can make this any number of sides that you want. Uh, we're going to keep it at 16 for now. I think 16 is going to work out perfectly fine. Uh, let's change the grid size over and let's make one. Let's go 256 by 256 for now. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm just going to go ahead and to keep it easy, uh, we'll make this a dev texture. Just take this face, press control I and press delete. So that way we keep that face selected that we wanted. And uh, here's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and press control H and uh, press F2. Let's go to the top and uh, let's uh, cut up this cylinder. Uh, I'm gonna do this uh, by just simply um, using the clip tool with shift X. I'm just gonna clip it a couple of times just to easily create some uh, vertices. And then I'm just going to go through, select these vertices, and uh, I'm going to press V to merge it while in the vertice mode. All right, go all the way through. And uh, now, almost finished with this, I've got 16 different equally cut up segments. Okay. I actually want to go ahead and uh, separate them. So I'm going to select one of them, press Alt-N, and then uh, on each of these, I'm just going to press Shift-G, which is just going to continue to separate them <coughs> so that they're, own, they're each of their own objects. See, if I press 5, I go into object mode. You can see now, this makes it easy. Okay, let's select all the faces, and uh, with a grid of 8, let's press G. We're going to thicken it, and this is going to give us these uh, pizza slices, so to speak, that are going to be nice and easy to manipulate. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to keep this for now because uh, you know we can we can delete these if we want, but I'm just going to keep it for now. And you know when it comes to optimization of faces later, uh, we can go ahead and make a big deal about it. Uh, selecting all of these, I'm going to de deselect one of them, and uh, I'm just going to press up, hold down uh, Control, uh, deselect another one. And then I'm just going to go through, I'm pressing shift G and, uh, each and every time it's just repeating that same action. All I'm doing is I'm making the spiral staircase by simply raising it one at a time. Deselect, deselect, raise, raise, raise. And now we have the basis of our staircase. Um, so <clears throat> I'm just going to try to give us a little bit more deviance with this. So I'm gonna hold down shift and let's copy it a couple of times. All right, now that spiral staircase is looking real nice. Uh, if I really wanna see what the uh, scale looks like, here I'll put down a player, press shift O to kind of see. Now I get this idea of where their head's at. Okay, I can see that, yeah, they can go ahead, they can clear it, they'd be able to go up and down the spiral staircase. Um, <clears throat> one thing that uh, I can do though here, look, they can notice there's a, uh, something that we can uh, use to join this. So I'm just going to go back, uh, press F2, shift B. Let's create another cylinder. Let's create a spiral on the inside. Okay. So when we come back down, let's just go ahead and raise this up and, uh, start it here at the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to pull it up to the top. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not deleting any faces for right now, um, you know, and later you'd want to go back and, of course, get rid of faces that you don't want. Um, but for right now, we're just using this to build the scaffold. And then let's go back into this mode, Shift-B, let's build another one using the same dimensions as the original. Okay, let's press Enter. I can change the grid size back to 8. And let's bring this one up. Okay, let's pull it, press F to flip it. And uh, now, you know, if we wanted to have this inside portion built, you know, we can come inside here and we can see 
we have our column you know there's a little bit of faces sticking inside of here you know if, if we really 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 wanted to be nitpicky and save light map space and I, i'm gonna have a tutorial later on how you can really get the most out of it um you know you could you could try your best to get rid of the extra geometry you don't need but honestly a little bit sticking in is absolutely fine absolutely okay it's not going to kill you um <clears throat> we can uh actually take advantage of uh, <clears throat> the thicken feature and uh, all i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, double click the interior faces i'm going to deselect the top two press alt n this is going to extract it and then with a grid size of eight i'm going to press g this is going to create that exterior okay and uh i'm just going to come up and i'm going to delete the top and bottom i don't need these faces okay so i have the exterior and the interior you know i've created here a, a little column so to speak so if i unhide everything you know you can see here in the world you know if i wanted to hide this i've got that spiral staircase <clears throat> you know i've got that little tower you know and, and i'm going to go ahead and let's uh let's do this let's take everything and let's move it into the mountain let's give it give it some purpose okay that's that looks pretty solid <clears throat> and uh what i'm going to do right now i'm going to come down here i'm going to hold down alt double click hold down shift and let's extrude down just a little bit more that way it kind of looks like it's continuous and then up here I will we'll go ahead and leave this open for right now uh, we can fill this out with a story uh, in another tutorial um, but <clears throat> I wanted to go ahead and show you how we've created a spiral staircase and then on the inside you know you can walk all the way through and look out uh, now you know we have the ability to go ahead and uh, and create something uh, that helps us uh, give a lot more uh, <clears throat> a lot more geometry okay uh, this is something that we can go ahead let's go ahead and actually color the stairs just to help make it stand out a little bit more so i'm going to select one of these wedges press Control alt o it's going to select all similar objects um, so I'll just hold down shift Control alt o shift Control alt o let's do this a few times okay until they're all selected uh, have them all selected and I'm going to grab this texture. Uh, <clears throat> now I can't, uh, I can press Shift T, but if I wanted to hotspot them all, for example, pressing Alt T right now is not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hold down Shift, I'm going to press 3. <clears throat> okay, this is going to now switch from object mode and it's going to select uh, all the faces of the objects that were selected. Now I can press Alt T and quickly have all of these stairs textured. All right, it allows us to uh, get through this uh, without having to go through each and every single one. Um, <clears throat> the outside here, we can just go ahead, uh, same thing, Shift 3, Alt T, and then quickly have all of this textured as well. All right, so <clears throat> but this is a quick way, okay, I'm going to hide that, to go ahead, uh, create a staircase in the interior. Okay, we can grab this cylinder as well. I can uh, just go ahead for right now and texture it quickly. We'll spend a little bit more time working on these textures in the next tutorial. Okay, and uh, just taking a quick look right here, um, I can go ahead and see uh, that I have uh, a couple of stairs uh, right next to each other. Okay, no big deal. I'm just going to hold down Shift, click, Control, Alt, O. I'm sorry, con um, Control, Alt, O. Uh, hold down Shift, Control, Alt, O. Just quickly select all of these. And then um, let's press Control H to hide. And I'm just going to go ahead and deselect all of these, reselect this, and go to a grid size of eight, press up. And then same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and deselect these, reselect that, press up. And on this last one, press up and unhide everything. Excellent. Problem solved. No big deal. Pull that cylinder back up. Okay. And now we've gone ahead and uh, finished our spiral staircase. All right, in our next tutorial, we'll go ahead and uh, show you ways we can let the player out of here. We're going to add some windows. We're going to retexture this, make sure that it looks good. Um, but I do want to make sure that uh, being able to build these spiral staircases is something that you can do at ease, uh, taking advantage of the geometry tools that are available. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys on our next Crash Course video.